This is a quick video to show how to uh, have a document apply to many different products. Um, and we're going to start off by uploading our document. We will then uh, specify the document on the product. And then we will uh, go from there and change our document and then re-upload it. So we're going to use a PDF. We're going to jump into our documents document. And we see we have here this master safety sheet too. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, if I wanted to continue uploading to this file and replacing this file, then I would use uh, this button here. If I want to start off with a fresh document, I would hit upload. Um, since I already have this document uploaded, so the first step is to upload your document. So let's start off with that since, and say I upload this PDF here. You see here we have the uh, safety information. And so now I have this PDF in my system. So what we can do from here is go to our product. And what we'll do is click on one of them. So what I did from here was upload or add a field, a document field, uh, for the product. So this is where you would want to have documents that uh, are going to be applied automatically to a product. You're not going to want to have to, uh, they're not going to change often. You're going to have a, a safety sheet based on this product. So uh, to do that, all I did was drag a document field um, using Studio. And then from here, I can specify what document is associated with uh, with this product. So right now I can specify my Sigma All Rich document. And now when I go back to my documents app, we have here, I can update it. So pretend I did some changes in my document and I want it updated. So I'm going to upload this document in spot of that document. I'm actually going to use this PDF here. So in place of this document, I'm uploading it, and it's basically creating a new version. So now we see the version has changed. It shows us the history. So now we see in that in place of this document, we uploaded this document, and it gives us the history. So in case we want to restore this document, we can hit this button here, and it will restore it. So now when we go to our product, we see here that it updated with our new document. So that way, when you have a document and your say a change happens, it'll automatically change when, uh, when that change is made, and then it'll apply it on that uh, product. I hope that answers everyone's questions. And if anyone has any more questions, feel free to reach me at cka at odoo.com. Thanks.